Last year, we studied the impact of AVs on traffic in downtown Boston. This year, we expanded the study along four key dimensions. We expanded the geographical area by a factor of 316 from downtown to the entire city. After incorporating new data sets from our partners, we now simulate 2 million trips per day. We conducted a conjoint study with 2,400 Bostonians to determine a realistic future modal mix for our simulation. Respondents chose from eight available transport modes in specific use cases. Lastly, we quantified the traffic efficiency gains from autonomous vehicles, which accounts for a 6% throughput improvement. The simulation allowed us to model traffic flows and congestion levels down to very granular sections of the city. For Boston, we see a reduction of vehicle traffic on the road by 15% yet an increase in vehicle distance traveled by 16%. While this leads to needing only about half the parking spaces Boston has today, the effective travel time improvement is just 4%. The results actually vary a lot across different neighborhoods, driven by the specific travel patterns there. Let's take a look at two examples, downtown and Alston. In downtown, we see a shift from both personal cars and public transit to mobility on demand. This results in more pockets of congestion, highlighted in red in our simulation, and an increase in travel time by 5.5%. In Alston, we mainly see a shift from personal cars to on-demand AVs. This results in less congestion, visible by the larger share of green streets, and results in a decrease in travel time by 12.1%. Cities will have to actively rethink policies. They'll have to rethink the design of the city to make sure that the transportation network serves people and does not serve vehicles. We studied three policy levers that cities have at their disposal to impact the travel time improvements. One, occupancy-based pricing schemes, which means charging consumers more for trips they take alone in the vehicle. Two, converting street parking, which means creating more driving lanes, especially during peak traffic times. Three, dedicated AV lanes, which means converting traffic lanes to be used only by AVs, similar to high occupancy lanes being used today. The three policy levers we simulated all show incremental mental travel time improvements. Occupancy-based pricing would have the largest impact with a 15.5% improvement over today, four times as much as in the scenario without policy changes. Public and private sector stakeholders should collaborate in maximizing the benefits of AVs. The cities of the future will need to find intelligent ways of steering people to mass transport or to highly flexible individual transport in a way that the overall transport equation becomes better.